Hi everybody, my name is An Chan Tech, aka The Chan. Today's video, I'm gonna install a wall port. Well, actually, not install wall port, I'm gonna do a cabling. So, I'm gonna connect this cable to the back of this wall port jack right here. Now, normally I use a twin port, but I'm gonna use a single one. What's upside down? Let me see. Cat 6. This is a sample of a cable from the main cable. This is an outdoor cable, so you can tell how flexible it is. It's very thick. So that's an outdoor cable. Now, I'm not the expert of installing a cabling, so I'm learning myself. So I'm going to do a quick demo video of me doing the cable actually. So what I do somehow cut the cable ah oh, yeah quite good is it long enough I think so so let me just go down here so you can see it. As you see, this has got some thick plastic shell. This is an outdoor. This is an outdoor, by the way, cable. By the way, you can tell how thick this thing is. So that's why it's an outdoor. I'm gonna try and cut this white plastic in the middle. All right. Now, the walls also have these codes, like. Brown, white, orange, white, orange, brown, and you got green and blue, and you got green, white, and blue, white. So let me untwig these, untwist these. These little strings are. As you know, these are copper wires. I'm gonna take this port out. Makes it easy for me. Yes, as you notice, this is a copper wires. There's one called aluminium. They're cost effective and they're more eco friendly than copper, but. And you got magnesium. Now, I've been told about how aluminium's. No good because they burn easily. The magnesium is more stronger and double than the magnesium, the aluminium. But I stick with copper because you know copper is the best. I'm gonna try and put this in. So this is so I have to pause that for a second. I have to recut it again. This one's a bit longer than before because the orange tip came off. Unfortunately, sometimes you might come across times like one of the copper come off and come loose so you have one copper missing it's a bit more shorter so it could be a bit more harder than before I know some people might come across this during their time when they do cabling and let me try and put this in now so this is the first one there you go the next one is just brown no it's orange just orange alone it's not going to come out perfect anyway, so I'm just going to slot it in normally. Wait, 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 let me just. Alright. 
happy with this. And it will be green, white, green, white. Number four will be no six green. I'm looking at the manual here. See? You look at the codes on here, on this. See? So I'm gonna continue doing it. So I'm gonna switch in like that. It goes in now. It's not in properly though, but I'm gonna use the punch down tool to finish it. So the top will be top right will be number seven. Brown white. If it's mind you it's quite hard because it's an outdoor cable. If it was a normal cable then it might be easier to install. But I'm not sure it's true but it depends on people that does cable engineering. And blue white. Number five. Number four is the bottom one. Blue on his own. So and I'm gonna push it in. Push it in. Let's go. Let's push it in now. There you go. It's secure tight. And now finally, punch down tool. Let me try and zoom in a bit. Oh, could actually be okay now. Now let me just do a punch down tool. Let's make sure it cuts. Ah, it's good. So it does it cuts it and trims it and it stabilizes it. So this does it, this keeps it down steady and this will just crimp it down like um you know let's call it finishing touch. So it's like a word of finishing touch. Now let's put this in. And normally um when you take this out, make sure it's feed like this. Not way around because you're gonna put it back in this way. Let me try and put it in. There you go. It's not a bit, I know I admit it though, it's very long. So it's a bit poorly done because it's very long, but you may never know. But if it was an indoor cable, it'd be fine, but. I'm not an expert, but if you're an expert out there, then you know, just try to let me know what you think. I'm learning, I'm learning myself, so it's not the first time I did this actually, so I'm still practicing. There you go. And that's my, my installing of cabling and a wall port. That's what that. So please let me know what you think. Have I done it correctly or is it a bit too long? If you like this video, please like it. 
You can also like me on Facebook, subscribe to my channel, you can follow me on Twitter. I hope this is quite informative for you and I hope you enjoyed this video of me just practicing and installing this wall ports. And I'd like to thank you for viewing.